It's arguably one of IBM's most famous creations, Watson, the Jeopardy-winning computer that set a standard for artificial intelligence. We may see some really crazy things happening by 2040 because at that point we're arriving at what we call the technological singularity. And what that is, is the point at which computers, machines, become as capable as human beings. When computers get that clever, that's a singularity because what happens next? They become twice as capable as human beings four times as capable, eight times as capable, 16 times as capable. What will these machines be able to do? What problems will they be able to solve? And the issue of confronting mankind, humankind, is will these machines be our slaves or our masters? And it's probably the biggest question, the biggest issue humans have ever faced. But does AI have to be in competition with humankind? Could there be another way? By the 2030s, we'll have the hardware and the software to create artificial intelligence that's at human levels. But this is not going to be a competition with humans. We're actually going to merge with our technology. It's actually ultimately going to go inside our bodies and inside our brains, making us healthier and making us smarter, enabling us to expand our neocortex, the part of our brain where we do our thinking uh, in the cloud, and we'll be able to think bigger thoughts, we'll be funnier, we'll be more loving, basically expanding human potential by merging with the artificial intelligence we're creating.